Okay, hier ist ein alter, richtiger, origineller Fotoladen. Next is camera. Wir sprechen jetzt mit dem Besitzer Greg. Komm einfach mit. Looking for a photograph. Giving everybody fun. Dexter's Camera ist seit 1960 ein Familienunternehmen. Es ist einer der wenigen verbleibenden wahren Kameraläden in ganz Südkalifornien. Geschäftsbesetzer Greg und seine Familie arbeitet und lebt hier. Sie haben den hinteren Teil des Gebäudes zum Lebensraum umgebaut. Und hier ist Greg. Von innen ist das Geschäft sehr rustikal. Wenn wir uns umschauen, sehe ich nur alte Kameras und alte Filme. Film. Lass uns rausfinden, wie er sein Lebensunterhalt verdient. Okay. Hallo, Greg. Hey, how's it going? Wie geht's? Sehr gut. Sehr gut, sehr gut. Ja, okay. Auf Englisch bitte. Tell us how you got started in uh, Dexter's camera. Well, I was a little kid and I kind of grew up here in this store. Uh, my father owned it before I did, but he passed away a few years ago. And uh, back in that time, you know, everything was starting to go digital and uh, we just decided to go film for principal, mechanics, the love of it. Uh, it's sharper than most digital cameras and uh, nobody else is doing it. So um, we just found ourselves a niche that proved profitable and unique. So. That's what's been keeping us around. So tell me, do you guys do most of your sales here in store or on the internet? Uh, mostly in store. Uh, we do do a fair amount of eBay and um, we ship stuff all over the country for a lot of our customers that have either used to live here and moved or they've stopped by and liked us and like what we do. So um, yeah, internet's uh, 10, 20 percent of our sales, not a lot. Let's take a look at some of your uh, some of your prize cameras, some of the best stuff you got. I see some really interesting items and I can't wait for you to explain them. Okay, Greg, I tell you what, this is an impressive collection. So all of these cameras are for sale? All of them are for sale, all of them work. Okay, so show me some of your favorite choice uh, cameras. Well, we do cycle through them fairly frequently. Uh, right now we have uh, a couple of Rolleiflexes. That's a Rolly F and a Rolly E. Uh, this is a Rolly E and this is a Rolly F. Uh, they're both 1950s vintage. Both, uh, they take amazing pictures. Mostly the lens and the mechanics are uh, superb in them. They never, uh, they never stop working. And right now we also have a super graphic kind of a the press camera you'd expect to see uh, throughout the 30s, 40s. Uh, that one right there would be about 50s. Um, what's interesting about that camera is that is serial number number seven. So Sir it's, it's the seventh one off the line made. In, the, in that year? Yeah, in, in, in the, for forever. Oh. So after the prototype, that was the seventh one off the line. How much are you asking for that? Uh, I'd be happy getting about 2,500 for it. Okay. So uh, another kind of cool camera I had um, this Polaroid Big Shot. Andy Warhol took a lot of his more famous pictures with a camera similar to that one. So we were happy to have that come through as well. And uh, lately we've been rebuilding Argus C3s. I've seen a lot of cool pictures uh, from World War II uh, taken with those. Now this is something special. What is this? What is this? I, I, this looks like a gun, a machine gun. It, 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 that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. It's a uh, Roku Shaw uh, from Japan. This one's a 1945 right here. Uh, so it was one of the later ones. Uh, it was used in World War II. Um, the types were for training purposes on, a, on a, a Japanese plane as a tail gunner. Oh, interesting. And so it has a Nikon lens built into it. Of course. And if you're uh, taking pictures of the opposing team, uh, there's a good chance you'd hit them in real life. Wow. Pretty neat. Awesome. Grab the phone. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Käse. Cheese. Greg liebt seinem Beruf und hat einen exzellenten Ruf bei seinem Kunden. Er erzählte mir, dass jede Fotokamera auf Anfrage von ihm gefunden werden kann. 
Ich nutzte die Gelegenheit und musste herausfinden, was er von der digitalen Revolution hält. Okay, so, the great debate. Film versus digital. Which is better? Which is more clear? It's, you know, it's definitely um, a matter of what you're doing with it. For 90% of my work, I would say I shoot digital. It's quicker, faster, easier, and good enough. Uh, film, on the other hand, I've heard it kind of described as an organic look, but um, it's definitely clear. I can scan film at a higher resolution, and it will be sharper. I had a customer once explain to me, he goes, okay, think about it this way. He goes, what shape are, are, are grains in film? I go, well, they're circular. He goes, what shapes are pixels on digital? I go, well, they're rectangular. He goes, name naturally occurring things that occur in circles. I go, well, I mean, we got like, you know, water droplets or spheres. We have, you know, the planets orbit in you know, circular motion. Uh, you know, most everything natural kind of tries to occur in a circle or a sphere. He goes, so when the eye sees digital, the smoothness of the curves of the grains give it kind of a more appealing look. I thought it was kind of interesting. Sehr philosophisch. Und uh, perhaps, perhaps you have hit on something there. Hold the shot. Do not cut. You are correct. Digital is superior. Okay. Ich habe neuen Film für meine alte Kamera und sage jetzt Tschüss, Greg. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Dankeschön.